Just here prospecting and sampling at the boulder showing. Oof. So we're at the boulder showing. You have boulders all down below this road that were ripped out of the bank here. You got mineralization running all across here for about 100 meters exposed on the side of the road. And you have massive sulfides coming out over here. We're pulling out some samples. We've taken a sample over two meters here and uh, had an XRF at 29% copper. So this showing is just one of many along the same strike. You have the Canadian US border about 800 meters that way and mineralization in a silicus rock. This is Kuroko type massive sulfides and there's a showing up there. You have a showing here showing 100 meters down on the road there. There's a waterfall. You got a showing in that and then there's a new road that's cut through exposing another 400 meters of the mineralized zone in width and then on top of that you have a new showing that we found last year um, in an old creek where there's two meters of massive sulfides and then even farther you have the landslide showings where you have boulders and rocks coming down the bank so we have a strike with five different areas um, of mineralization over a width of about 300 meters and a strike length of about four kilometers now. So all these showings have the same strike and as you can see it's difficult prospecting, lots of moss and everything there but we have logging going on in the middle of the claim that way but you can see the mineralization here is quartz with your silicus rock you got pyrite calcopyrite stringers and massive lenses as well as disseminations of pyrite and i've gathered a few samples from this showing here there's boulders and rocks all over the road again with sulfides but let's go take a look at some of the ones I've already hammered off over here so this rock and mineralization reminds me a lot of the 9-11 showing on Mount Sicker and I guess they're both Kuroko type massive sulfides where you have fine and coarse pyrite with lots of calcopyrite see this is quartz here big globs of calcopyrite There is a zone which is on the opposite side of this property where I'm at right now where you have zinc bearing mineralization and you had samples historically which 
analyzed as high as 45% zinc with 25 ounces per ton silver and just over an ounce per ton gold. And I haven't tested anything at this area or any of the other showings other than some XRFs of the material which showed this area especially as being high copper content. You can see the difference calcopyrite Here's the last couple samples that I pulled out of there. So we got some more samples here from the showing. You can see the cocoa pyrite and again pyrite. Here's another sample where you have quartz cutting through your silicified rock and you can see the band of calcopyrite following the quartz and then you have disseminated pyrite in your silicified host and this is from a boulder that I pulled out from the area of the showing. So you're running through this boulder and there's hundreds and hundreds of boulders like this. A few more samples from the outcrop here. Pyrite with buggy quartz. Broke this off a chunk of the weathered side. See again massive sulfides through here. And this looks like chert with disseminated pyrite and calcopyrite. And this actually looks like what you'd see in the Northeast Copper showings on Mount Sicker. And that's just below the 9-11 occurrence. So a lot of similarities in the mineralization and rock types here to that of Mount Sicker. Everything falling down is just got pyrite and calcopyrite in the samples. We got quite a few samples like this now coming out. A few more samples here from the showing. Calcopyrite running through here. Most of these rocks are mineralized with about 
20 to 25 percent calcopyrite. Right there, because I'm going to chip this boulder here a bit. 